Matt Baker's murder trial in McLennan County last week, we heard testimony from several computer experts who had searched through Matt Baker's computers to see his past internet searches and email correspondence, lots of other digital evidence. That's right, digital forensic. There is a new program at TSTC that offers information and courses on digital forensics. We're joined now with that department chair, uh, Derek Smith, and one of the instructors, Linda Shorter. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank, Thank you for having you. us. Linda, how new is this technology to the field of crime? Well, new to uh, the corporate world, it's new, but to law enforcement, it's not new. Law enforcement has been doing this for a while. Uh, now the corporations are having to do it because some of the devices that are getting smaller and smaller that you can collect information on, uh, that you can plug into computers at work, you can uh, do have industrial espionage, um, and so corporations are having to hire people to monitor this and use software to make sure that this doesn't happen to them. Derek, what are the tools for people who are interested in digital forensics? Are you using other hardware or is there a software program? How do you get that information off the devices? Well, we have a certain software that we use and we train our students on. And uh, it's the same software that the government's using in all the law enforcement agencies. Um, Linda had, and I had the opportunity to go down to Houston and, and talk with some people that were doing this for a living uh, mid-October, and they were all using the same software that we'll be training our students on. Linda, how important is this new type of technology to solving crimes? It's very important. It's just like solving a regular crime scene uh, with the digital information. You, you look in anybody's house, 80 to 90 percent of legal cases right now involve some kind of digital information, uh, whether it be a cell phone, a PDA, a little uh, camera with the little uh, pen drives. Right here, this little, this came out of a camera. It can hold up to 800 pictures. So as everything, the storage media starts getting bigger, um, the more digital information we have to uh, look through. Derek, you have several different electronic devices out there in front of you. Can you get information off of all of those? Absolutely. Um, this is a hard drive uh, that's on a regular computer, and we can ex extract uh, documents, email, uh, websites. Um, should be probably familiar with that. Uh, we can actually even go to the websites uh, that people have visited with the software that we're using, um, CDs, floppy disks. Uh, cell phones, Portable drive. laptops, uh, we, can, we can access it all, yeah, retrieve information off of them. Such a neat new program. Derek and Linda, thank you so much for being with us and telling us about it this morning. Thanks, Thanks. for having us. That digital forensics technology program is a very new program at TSTC in Waco. There's more information about it online, kwtx.com slash buzz.